Today, I'm on the hunt for the Awakened Soul Arcana in the Hero Promotion event, and we're almost there. Welcome, everybody. My name is Bear Cozy. I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos. I like to make account progress videos because for me, the fun is in progression, and I like to have a good time while playing the game. I am not a mega spender by any means. I am a very low spender, not quite free to play. I know some people have said, you're not free to play. I never claimed to be free to play. I'm a low spender because I do like to get the magic pass and I do like to get the, the daily diamonds once in a while, not every single month, but I do try. So if you're new here and you don't know me, welcome to the channel. We like to have a good time here. And today I want to go ahead and work on the hero promotion event. And I want to grab myself the uh, Awakened Soul Arcana down here. I'm really, really trying. We're going to level a couple of heroes. And the Awakened Soul Arcana is going to be another addition because right now I have almost enough to buy another Awakening Soul Arcana with 3,000 points. I have 2775. I do have an Endless Trial available. Your backpack is full. Well, I guess it's going to be time to pull some stuff from my backpack, huh? We're going to do that in the next video. Um, that's kind of interesting. I can't believe my backpack is full. That's insane. I might have to, I might have to go ahead and uh, get rid of some of this gear. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of this. We might have to level some of this and get rid of some of this junk. I can't believe I have that much stuff. All right, here's what we're going to do today. That was a really good laugh. Here is what we're going to do today. I was not expecting that. I didn't even know that was a thing until just now. So here's the plan. We are going to level Flarence. I just pulled Flarence not too long ago. Uh, we're going to pull some shards. We're going to do some dailies and we're going to do some things. So Flarence is actually really, really cool. Not only does she grant 80% area splash damage, which is really good for hard void tower, of course, and probably some of the harder dungeons, right? Splash damage is always really, really good, especially for single target heroes. But she also restores 20% health on Ascended, of course. Ascended, it gets much better. And then her, um, then her ultimate heals all team members based on the amount of health that she's got and applies a bonus attack to the whole team and increases damage taken. So we are going to level her. I think I started glyphing her. No, I did not. I take that back. I, I think I uh, started... I think I upgraded her abilities. I upgraded her abilities, did not fully glyph her. However, I started glyphing my other hero that I want to level today to get that awakening. So I can is Marion Shadowblood. Now I've been looking for her for a very long time. This is my first dark hero on this account. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have to reset after about two weeks. I started making videos, my account would not sync i was on the laptop it would not sync to google play and if i tried to log out i got i got an error syncing it and if i tried to log out it said you will lose your progress and so i was unable to log in to any other device on any other device except for the laptop so if something ever happened to the laptop my account would be lost not to mention i couldn't buy anything because it wouldn't sync to google play so unfortunately i had to start all over again and uh, that was unfortunate I had her on my last account. However, on this account, I just got her about a week or two ago, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to leveling her. And uh, of course, she needs gear. She needs some glyphs. I worked on a little bit of glyphs here. I've been working on her glyphs, and it looks like I need two more. I got the most important ones, the crit rate and uh, the health bonus, the defense bonus, and then, of course, the other one. And then this one was speed, I believe. Yeah, that the speed one I got first. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the events. Um, let's take a look at the hero promotion event. And then, of course, the energy cost event is coming up right after that. So I like to prepare ahead. I have made several videos on preparing ahead. And for this one, actually, this is going to be really good. Because the first thing I see right now is the event points. One, two, three. So with the event points, we can get shards from the bartender. Because my Orac is almost maxed out. He is a five. I want to leave one more because I know I'm going to end up pulling one more copy of him randomly. And uh, I don't want to waste that. So I'm going to leave him at A5. I'm going to take these event points here for now. And we're going to buy some shards from the bartender. And uh, what I am looking to do is get this water summoning crystal and the awakened soul arcana. And I have two heroes to six star. And of course, if we six star hero, we get a thousand points. So with two of them, it should be 2000 points. I'm almost at 7000 here. So we should be really, really close to 9k. And then over the next couple of days, I'll work on maxing it out, getting the Stardust, because the limited summons are coming. And what's coming in the limited summons is actually really, really good heroes. 
Two of the really best legendaries are coming in the next uh, limited hero pool, which is going to be very soon. Blackhorn and Yolanda. I'm really, really hoping for those. And of course, Zatlux. So I'm going to try to get as many Stardust as I can. Let's go ahead and do our free daily summon. I hope we don't get Goober. I really, <laughs> I really don't want him. Mary's okay. I have all the copies that I need. She is very good for Ash Magisteria 12, but Mary is okay. Um, so let's go back. We pulled that. I do have to make room in my backpack, probably off camera. So without further delay, let's go ahead and level Florence. I am going to try her. She does, there's something that she does. She does have the bonus attack and the increased damage taken. So maybe what we can do is we can level her and uh, get her glyphs. It's going to take me some time to get her glyphs because she's, uh, she's, she's quite a bit. Let's see what we can, let's see what we can get right now. She's quite a, of, uh, she's very, very low is what I'm trying to say. I just came back from a run. I'm still breathing a little heavy. It was an awesome run. The weather is 65. It's a little drizzly, so it's perfect, but, um, Let's go ahead and upgrade her. She is going to need all of her level 5 glyphs, probably some level 4 glyphs as well. I try to keep a nice reserve, so when I get low, what I personally try to do is, especially during the energy cost event, I try to go through and I try to get 20 scrolls for enough for at least two heroes of uh, each. So every time you see a scroll like the Titan, I try to have enough for two heroes every time I go farming because that way I can go ahead and use them on two heroes and I'm never technically out because I always prepare. I'm out, like right now I'm out because I just used them all on Marion Shadow Blood. I didn't get enough. I'll go through and level these off camera, get these off camera. These are not too bad. Some of these are already getting close. The level four glyphs are fairly easy to farm. They do have a, a good drop rate. The level five glyphs are gonna take a while, but uh, luckily all of the abilities are maxed out since I've been preparing ahead. So let's go ahead and max her out. Where is it? Info. Let's go ahead and promote her. We're going to use our pumpkin. We're going to use five of our foodies. Now, if you don't know, foodies are the best to level to five star because they only take half the required experience of all of the other heroes. So they are absolutely the best. And they stop at uh, level 40 and then they pop right to five star and they stop there. That is the max. So let's go ahead and level Flarence. Boom. I'm looking forward to using Flarence. Trying her out in Banker, maybe in place of William. Uh, William does have counterattack, so does she. It's not as good as William. However, she does have the increased damage taken. So we're going to see what happens there. It's on a four turn cooldown. I don't know if this is going to give us enough, but 30% damage taken, especially with lots of joint attacks, plus a bonus attack on everybody for two turns. That's pretty, pretty good. Bonus attack for two turns, and then the next two turns, we don't get much. And then she uses her ultimate again. So it's basically for two turns every two turns, which is the way I'm reading it. And that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to trying her. I'm not going to use her for damage, but she might be really good in dungeons. And uh, she can probably replace Rodira since I never leveled Mathasia. I was planning on leveling Mathasia because I just got her from the Magic Pass. And uh, Rodira is my main healer. Just got Mathasia. She's down there somewhere. But then I ended up pulling Flarence. And I don't want to level Mathasia anymore at least not right now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to try out marion shadow blood in the light banker as well because of her joint attack which is awesome 30 percent chance to launch a joint attack i need one more marion shadow blood for her a2 ascension that will be awesome so going through she's actually really really good she deals 80 percent damage to an enemy plus true damage equal to three percent of the target's mass health max health and of course, her trait scales with speed when she's ascended. Right now, it's not going to have much effect. I need one more, and then she will scale with speed. So the faster she is, I'm assuming the chance will go up to maybe 40, 50%. That I don't know, have not been there. So she's really, really good. She deals damage, heals herself. She's got lots of self-sustain. Her ultimate is really, really good as well. She's got the Unholy Redemption, which is the damage reduction lifesteal. And the Light Banker attacks heroes with the highest HP. So if we put a lot of HP on her, or at least more than the rest of the team, she will absorb all the attacks. And then, of course, she has the life steal, and she has, and then she has the healing on her special. So she's got a lot of sustain there. So let's go ahead and do her glyphs. Now her glyphs are coming along very, very nice. I am planning on using her very soon. Crit rate is very important. Resistance and health is not majorly important, but I am going to get this one next. I think the blessed is going to go next. And uh, then, of course, I need gear. I'm struggling for gear. I might have to steal somebody's gear, maybe Gorel's. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Gorel's got a lot of HP, or at least a lot more than the rest of my heroes. 
So I'm gonna maybe borrow his gear, see how that goes, and uh, see if we can do some more damage with Mary and Shadow Blood. Now I got prepared early, and I got myself enough for two six-star heroes, two sixties, and uh, that took a little bit of time. I actually got a couple of forties down here as well. That's kind of cool. So I have the Goblin and I have the Gremlin down here as a forty. All I need is a couple more, or that's actually um, a five-star forty. So they are five stars. I need three more five stars at some point to level one more hero. And at this point, I'm struggling for gear. But seeing how I'm maxed out on gear, my backpack's yelling at me. I have to sell some stuff. So what I'm going to do is instead of selling it, and I know somebody left a comment on one of my earlier videos, you can't sell gear. You can sell gear. But instead of selling gear, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it into the previous gear that I have or roll it into the gear that I'm trying to level. And uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. I know when I first, there we go, she is now 60, and that is awesome. Her glyphs are almost done, she just needs some gear, and then we're going to see where she is. She starts out at 121 speed with no gear, so it's not going to be very hard to push her over 130, 140, but what I want to do is, where's my backpack? When I first started making videos, my first couple of videos, my first couple of videos, I made a gear guide video, what to keep, what to sell, what substats to look for, what main stats to look for. And one of the guys left me a comment and he said, you can't sell gear, you noob. And I was like, really? You can't sell gear? Then what's this button here? I mean, what, what are we doing here? Is this, I'm, I'm confused. So instead of, in, instead of people uh, being really mean, why don't you just, I, I don't understand, just, just either don't say anything or, or, or just be nice, be like, hey, FYI, you can't sell gear. You don't have to be like, oh, you're a noob, you can't. Everybody's going to start somewhere, right? And this is exactly why I make these videos, guys. I had to start somewhere. There's other people starting somewhere as well. Let me go ahead and take a screenshot of that in case anybody ever asks. You can sell gear. Um, you probably don't want to unless you're really low on, uh, on gold. But... Um, the, the best thing to do is to actually roll it into other gear, and uh, I have a ton of gear I gotta go through. I've been saving all of all of the I've been saving all of the legendary gear, but I have to go through and and start rolling. That's gonna be very time consuming. Probably gonna do that on Saturday or Sunday, but uh, right now <laughs> I have right now I have reached silver tier three in arena. If we look at arena, I haven't been playing arena much, but I'm in plat three, so um, I don't know. But uh, that is where I'm at. That is where I'm stuck. It wants me to reach Silver 3. So that's in case you're wondering about that. I am on Stage 3. I got the first two completely done. And then, of course, I'm going to get there once the reset happens. And then I'm going to get to this Sacred Summoning Crystal at some point in time. And this is actually nice because it's a guaranteed Legendary. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and look at the events. How close are we? I still got four days left. Man, that's amazing. I am plowing through this event here. I really want the Stardust for sure for the limited summons. There we go. There's the Water Crystal right there. And then there's the Awakened Solar Cannon. I am going to take a screenshot of that because I lost my last one. I did make a guide on how to get this, how to prepare for this, what to do. Typically, let me take a screenshot. I'll be right back. Typically, the way that the events work, right, is the event. If you look at, if we look at the event calendar, the way that the events typically work is we have arena cost, or uh, excuse me, energy cost. We I was looking at the arena, wondering why that's going before hero promotion. We have the energy cost before hero promotion, so we can get prepared. And I've made multiple videos on this, but apparently this energy cost is for the gear collection. And then, of course, we're going to be uh, enhancing gear afterwards. So typically, the way that it works is energy cost goes before hero promotion. And what I like to do is I like to run adventure, and I like to do all of my glyphs. And what I like to do is actually prepare as I have been. Now, the event has not been running, but what I what I do is I figure out who I want to level, and then I'll go through, and if we're looking at Marion or if we're looking at Florence, I'll go through the glyphs, and I'll say, okay, I want to work on all of her glyphs, and I did a bunch of work there, and I'll go through and I'll go farming them, and uh, that that is kind of how I like to prepare, and I have more than enough. So since these events are reversed and the hero promotion is before the energy cost, what I'm doing is I'm leveling these guys. Let's look at the calendar. Um, what I'm doing is I'm leveling these guys, and then during the energy cost, which is coming up very soon, I'm gonna go and work on all of their scrolls. 
And that way I get all of my scrolls, I get all of my jelly back that I've spent in preparation for the next event that's coming up. I max out a couple of different things. I get scrolls, I get the jelly, and I get the energy cost event maxed out. And it works out really, really nice. And I feel like I'm always two steps ahead instead of feeling like I'm chasing my tail. Bears don't chase their tail. So uh, let's go ahead and grab that Awakened Soul Arcana, which is really awesome. That makes me super, super happy. What I do need to do is I need to get one more Endless Trial. It is open. <laughs> Backpack is full. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and roll some gear. I'm going to roll some gear into something else. Maybe we'll start with the boots, and we're going to look from there. So uh, Florence, actually, is probably good in a Revival set. I don't know if she's good in a Curse set. Let's just look at some boots right now. And uh, Revival set's pretty good. I would like to see if I have any Speed Boots. I have been working on transitioning people into speed boots and that's been working out really really nice that one's okay the substats are pretty bad um again the substats are kind of crappy i saved all of my speed boots just in case for when i need them this actually is not bad let's go ahead and enhance this and maybe what we can do is we can let's roll some of these unlocked boots i hate doing this without seeing what's going on but at this point i have so much stuff i really don't care so let's roll it to three Let's see what happens there. And then if it rolls well, not too bad. We're going to roll it to uh, six. Let's go ahead and roll it to six. And by the way, if you hold both mouse buttons down, it'll select all of the light gear all the way down, all the very similar gear. So what I do is when I'm ready, now this is this is extreme. This is a mega, mega extreme. But when I'm ready, I hold both, but when I'm ready, I hold both mouse buttons down at the same time. And it just selects the whole wall of very similar gear. And uh, as you can see, we go from 3 to 13. I don't think I want to do it just yet. There's a lot of stuff I got to go through. So I'm going to back out and I'm going to do it one more time. If I didn't have this much stuff, I would honestly select all of them. But let's go ahead and roll this to 6. See if it rolls well again. Crit damage and health, that's pretty good. Actually, that's looking like a good Zatlox piece maybe. Or maybe somebody else. Somebody that is uh, that can solo Void Tower, Zalox is definitely that hero. I'm going to roll this to 9. I should probably save all this, but I feel like I have so much stuff and I need to make room. So I'm going to roll this to 9. And double health is actually really, really good. That is a piece for Garel. If I ever get him out of, uh, uh, out of health boots, I'm going to put him in speed boots. That is a piece for Garel for sure because Garel, when he's in a service state, he actually, his damage scales with his max health. So what, what I think I'm going to do is maybe I'm going to put her in a revival set to keep her health high. That way I can take her into some other dungeons. And uh, Brand is using that one. William is using that one. Do I have any more? I have, well, that one's kind of rolled bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find something where I can, I can put her in as much health as I can. Something like this. Maybe we can roll speed on it. Let's roll it to three. See what happens there. I'll go through offline. Yeah, I had a piece, looking at resistance, guys, I had a piece that was a perfect weapon. It was a perfect weapon that rolled. Check this out. I want to show you this. I had a piece yesterday. It was a perfect, perfect weapon that rolled horrible, and I almost cried. It's not this one. <laughs> Let me find it. Here it is right here. I posted it. I posted this in one of the discords that I'm in with a sad face, and I'm like, why? Six-star cursed staff. Crit rate and crit damage, and they both rolled on resistance, man. Why? It's like, this just, This hurts my soul. If you're looking at this and this doesn't hurt your soul, I don't know. You're missing the point of the game. This hurts my soul, and uh, I'm ready to cry a little bit. But, uh, hey, you know, RNG is RNG. That's how it goes. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm getting very, very close, and what I'm thinking is... I have to, I, she probably either needs a couple more stats or she needs a six star, um, a six star crit rate ring. Right now I'm unable to put her in a crit damage ring, so I'm going to try her out in a crit rate ring. Maybe I'll steal Garel's gear. It's going to take me some time to figure out what Garel's wearing, but right now this is looking okay. 97.5%, it's not 100, 205, it's a little low. I have to play around with this, see what I can do with her, finish off her glyphs. And then we're going to put her in the light banker as well. And we're going to see how that goes. So I think for right now, that's going to do it. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for watching all of my videos. I appreciate every single one of you. I have a favorite to ask. I have two favorites to ask. 
if you would be so kind. The first one is leave me a like and a subscribe on the video on my channel. That will help me tremendously. I am working very, very hard on growing the channel and I'm working very hard on making entertaining content so you can enjoy it. We can have a good time together. We can have a few laughs and maybe share some tips and tricks that we each don't know. The other thing is if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my content, please consider throwing me two bucks to my PayPal down below. I put a link down below. That will help me tremendously with Ace Resources. Right now, I don't have enough subscribers to apply for the content creator program, or I should say to be accepted in the content creator program. However, I am working very, very hard on getting there. So if you throw me two bucks, if you'd be so kind, that would help me tremendously with getting some more ACE resources so I can keep making videos because right now I'm struggling to get enough resources to level heroes and I really need them to make videos. So if you'd be so kind, do those two things for me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.